a lot of people, myself included, been complaining about G. Rowe and his play calling and his lack of uh, creativity and his what are you doing method of calling plays. Well, Sunday, G. Rowe got in his bag. Uh, more specifically on that second drive of the game and later on in, in, in the game also in the second half, I think the last drive that Lamar was in, but we're going to focus on that second drive of the game when Giro just got in his bag and, you know, basically shut all us up. So my apologies to you, Giro, and this is Coach Edwin with Sidney Taylor Films, and here we go. Before we get started, I want to thank the newest member of the Patreon team, uh, Random Shamo. Also, the members that have been there before, Brandon Bazell, Darius Daniels, Brandon Henderson, Joshua, Martin Van Burskirk, Avril Povos, Jared Green, Ms. Antoinette Craig, and the newest member again, Random Shamo. Thanks for joining the Patreon subs. So if you want to be up to date when I drop these random videos, just like this one is about to be random, all you got to do is click the subscribe button. Do that, go over, hit that bell notification, be a part of the Noti game, and when these videos drop randomly throughout the week, you'll be one of the first ones to get in on them, especially if we're doing a live stream or a um, premiere, and which is probably why you're here, because this is a premiere. But let's get into this tape of uh, G-Ro and how he got into his bag on that second drive versus the Jaguars. So let's, again, we're going to let it run through first, then we're going to come back and talk about it. I think this is a seven-play drive. Situation first and ten from the minus thirty-two. That trips right with the little, with the little um, pistol backfield. Get a little stretch. Get a little stretch. Get about five or six yards, maybe seven. Let's see what we do up front. All right, so we're going to stretch to the strong side. Stretch to the strong side, and we got the numbers, if I'm not mistaken. Let's just, you know, off my knowledge, this is what should happen. Borkin should go there. Sneed should go there. Ricard should go there. Fluker needs to hook this guy. Needs to be a double team to cut this guy off. Bozeman should come flat out of here, but trying to cut off this backside, which will probably be 29. And Orlando needs to try to scoop this guy. We not touching him right here. He's going to be free. That's what I think should happen. Let's see what actually happens. Kind of look about right to me. Kind of look about right to me. I think um, uh, 70. Fluker is wrong in the steps. Look how he's running the powers. So Fluker kind of messes up. Everybody else going right but Fluker. Don't, not really sure what Fluker is doing. But these three out here going exactly where they said they should go. So with Fluker stepping wrong, now this guy looks to be free. That's Miles Jack. Good job right here by Sneed. Sneed always do a good job of blocking. If a car can get on this side, it's probably a bigger play. But because Fluker stepped down, now Miles Jack is free and Ben is chasing Jack, which Ben probably not going to win that. When Jack beats him to the hole. That's all because Fluker stepped wrong. All because Fluker stepped wrong. All right, let's go to the next play. Second and, let's see, ball's here. So one, two, second and four. Second and four from the minus 38. As I turn my phone off. I don't have to start over, I'm tripping. Second and four. This is one of our staples from last year. This, and which ain't really been working great this year. <laughs> and let's, let's kind of see what goes wrong here. We get uh, Skura in as the extra lineman right here. So we got uh, left, right guard, I'm sorry, right tackle, right guard, center, left guard, left tackle. I must make sure I say that right. Right tackle, right guard, center, left guard, left tackle, tight end, fullback. Now we got tight end to the fullback, tight end and fullback to the left. We got an extra lineman to the right. So the strong side is left. So now, 
trying to so this he's the read guy right here because he's the unblocked guy we got double team here they're trying to get there um Macari's pulling uh with cards feeling so i'm clueless as to what's going on right here clueless now you got a guy in this gap flukers coming back side here uh I'm gonna go on a limb and say this kind of busted. This is kind of busted. Yeah, I'm, I ain't, I'm, I'm going to the next play. That, that's kind of busted. <laughs> so it's now third down and four. Because I couldn't give you no kind of explanation to what was going on there. And if it was not busted, that shows my lack of football knowledge. But going on to play three. So this is third down, so we didn't get much there. I want to say there's only one back power. Let's see. Why didn't we get to all 22? Here we go. Let's go back to the all 22. Here we go. I think there's only one back power. With a read on it. Yeah, with a read on it. The end came down, so Lamar gave it. Kind of like the little bash play. Little version of the bash. You're being pulling. Reading, I'll show which guy they're reading. Reading this guy right here. If he goes down, Lamar's gonna give it to Dobbins going here. If he comes up the field, Lamar's gonna ride Dobbins and then hit it right off of um, Ben Powell's pulling. He crashes down, give it, and let's go. Good job blocking right here, whoever this is. I'm not sure who this is. Good job blocking out there, though. That's Andrews. Got a first down. Got a first down. So now, we got our first first down. It is, what, first and 10 from the 48. I don't know if it's minus 48 or positive 48. Let's see. Sometime today. All right. Finally press the play button. It is minus 48. So now, did a good job of what I liked, you know, differently is this is Gus. This is Dobbins. You got both backs in at the same time, which, you know, I'm cool with that. Not sure what this was supposed to be, but let's see if we can try to figure it out. It's a fake to Dobbins, we definitely know that. But let's see if we can figure out about what the old line do. O line runs zone left. I want to say inside zone left. Yeah, this is great blocking if it was inside zone. If this was inside zone, this would be great block. We got a hat there, hat there, hat there, hat there. Bozeman going there. If this was inside zone, this would be great. But he faked the ball to Dobbins and really doesn't have anywhere to go. So I want to say this is the second busted play on this part. The second, because Lamar and JK is talking about something. I saw this doing a broadcast. I'm not sure what. So, his guy or this guy messed up. So we're not we're not sticking that on zero. One of them two messed up. Miscommunication. That's going to play five. All right, we got who is that coming in motion? Ricard coming in motion. Got the little pistol look, faking the pistol look. If I'm not mistaken, this is the same play. Or a similar play to the very first play of the game. If you remember the first play of the game, we hit Ricard in the flats and he carried Miles Jack for about 10 yards, like a like a piggyback ride. So this is a similar play. Just flooding the zone. You got one, two, three on the deep route. So you're flooding the zone. Because he's going there. He's going to the flats. So if they're in some kind of cover three, you know, you can high low on this dude. That's what we're doing. High low on that guy right there. So now, 
Andrews is wide open because he's dealing with that. And the good thing about this is Lamar doesn't lead him out here, but this guy can be a come up part of the play. He throws a bullet right here to that dude, to Mark Andrews. And kind of kind of stops him so he don't run into the, the coverage. And Lamar just let this rip now. Just watch Lamar on this. He just let it rip. Just let it rip. Just let it rip. Great accuracy. Great. No time, no thinking, no overthrowing, no, no, none. Just let it rip. Pocket's great. Good play. Good play call. Because you know we run, and the reason I say it's a good play call, let's back it back. So I can tell you why I think it's a good play call. Come on back. Come on back. Please go back. There we go. Because a lot of times we run this motion with Ricard, we run power. We run power. And this time we didn't run power. So we got this guy and this guy to, to come up a little bit. Just a little bit. Not much. Just watch them though. Watch these guys come up just a little bit. Which gives Mark Andrews space to get behind him. They just froze and came up just a step, a hair, to get out of there. Now, with him not getting a full drop, Andrews was able to get behind him and settle, which is the reason we got that completion. Not bad, not bad. Play six. Play six. It is first and 10 from the plus 32. Got, um, I want to say overload right. I think that's two extra linemen on the right side. Maybe a tight end. I can't tell from here. This is the RPO that, that um, Hollywood scored on versus the Dolphins early in his rookie year. Same RPO. Let's see who the Reed guy is. All right. Well, when I bag you up, I mean for you to stop. Don't keep going. Not stop. This is the read man. If he takes any steps in here, bam, that is right there. If he opens up to that, he's just going to hand the ball off and let Gus or whoever this is in the backfield do their thing. So let's watch this guy and see what he does. And it helps that we got this huge cushion. That's, that's money in the bank right there. Steps up, doesn't bail out, so now he can't get there. Now, if this is a, like a on-time dot throw, he hits that and scores. But it's not the greatest throw. So Hollywood has to kind of settle back, catch it, and then he reverses out. But if that's an on-time, like, in-stride throw, he scores easily. Easily. And let's see it from the back. I think Jet Miles Jack is the read. Comes up just a little bit, and that little bit knows lets Lamar know he got the window. Because he can't get there. And I, okay, because of this angle, I can see why he kind of threw it behind him a little bit. If he leads him, you know, if the ball's right here, right here definitely, the Hollywood score. But then that's a little bit close to Miles Jack, so I ain't going to be too critical on Lamar for this. But, you know, good read, though. Good read, though. Throw wasn't the greatest, but good read. Good read. And I'll take it. I'll take it. Because I hadn't seen this play in a while. I know he ran a couple times, but I hadn't seen this play in a while. All right, let's go on to the next play, which is play seven. Play seven, we obviously score on this. It's first and goal from the four. Got a little motion by Snee. Protection's great. After the play action, Gus fits in there with the protection. Protection is great. Look at that. Nobody around Lamar. Great job. So now, Sneed is running and out, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure who this is. I think it's Ricard. He's coming across. And this is Hollywood. He's boxed in by this guy. Boykin is not open yet, but wondering. Nobody's really covering Boykin right now. All right. So Hollywood is boxed up by these two guys. Both of their attention on Hollywood. Sneeze locked up. Project Pat is double teamed for some strange reason. The huge void is way over here. That's where Miles is headed. 
The more I was looking at Project Pat, not open. Let's see if Project Pat's the first read. Nope. Sneeze the first read. Sneeze or Hollywood. I can't really tell where his eyes is. Eyes may be on Hollywood right here. So that's what read one, not there. All right, now, coming back to Project Pat. Read two. So they, they say this dude don't go to progressions. Read two, not there. Coming again, back to the right side. Sneeze not there, but again, that void is open. Now it's up to you to make the throw. Now you got to drop it in the bucket between this defender, this defender, and hopefully this defender don't turn around. But you got all this face to fit it in there. Can you fit it in there? Throw it high because you got a tall guy. And look at him go up and get it. Good job, Miles. And I, since we all been critical of Miles, I think he scored touchdowns in three straight games. If I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. Lost to the right. Not there. Come back to Project Pat. Not there. Double team. You know, the great receiver, Pat Ricard, double team. Uh, Hollywood got this guy looking him square in the face. And on top of the dude that's off screen, you can't see, that's chasing Hollywood. This dude right here, I don't know who he is. He's kind of in no man's lane. Now you see Lamar go to Boykin. Throw it high. Boykin 6'5-ish. Good job of going up getting it. So with this drive, you know, let me flip back to what I want to be on. Now we all criticized Zero on his play calling and, and being, what's the word we were using? Um... Predictive, predictive, predictive. Uh, Zero got his bag. And I know it's the lowly Jaguars, but he took what they were not good at and what we were good at and meshed that together and came up with a great game plan. Did some uh, some great, a great series of drives on a couple of different occasions. This is just one of them that I liked, you know, the most. Probably that one. Lamar's last drive is pretty good also. But, um... You know, hopefully we figured it out. We're ascending in December. We got two more games left. Still need some help. Uh, come on, Dolphins, lose. Come on, Raiders, beat the Dolphins. Come on, um, somebody beat the Browns. Steelers or somebody. Hate this. I'm rooting for Steelers to beat the Browns, but Steelers beat the Browns and the Colts. Come on, do your thing. But um, and with that being said, if the Steelers beat those guys, we probably end up seeing a Steelers first round. But um, again, it's the first video of the week after the. Huge blowout of the Jags. I'm Coach Evan Sip the Tally Fam. This is your first time here. Make sure you hit that like button. Hit the uh, if you want to talk about what I talked about, comment, uh, subscribe, share, put it in your group chats, do all that good stuff. We're pushing toward 5k. We're over 4,800. So we're trying to get to 5k by the time the Ravens win the Super Bowl this year. And again, it's Coach Evan Sip the Tally Fam. Make sure you follow me on the social media, uh, Coach Evans9 on Twitter and Sip the Tally Fam's on IG. And I'll see you next time. Peace. With the, with the